Yo, what is going on everyone? In today's video I'll be showing you how to drastically lower your keyboard and mouse delay and this method focuses on one simple adjustment which is lowering the buffer size of your keyboard and mouse and by reducing the buffer size we cut down on the time it takes for your inputs to be processed which directly means that you're gonna have lower input delay and a more responsive game. Before we get into the video, I just want to quickly tell you about my premium PC tweaking service. If you want your PC running at its best in terms of frames, input delay or ping, make sure to check out my Discord which is linked on the screen and linked in the bio, with over 1000 reviews combined. Okay, so now that we actually get started, the first thing you want to do is press on the Windows plus R key on your keyboard, and then the Run tab will open, type Reg Edit, press OK, and now when you're within the registry editor, you simply want to follow my steps. So expand the HK local machine, expand system, expand current control set, expand services, and now press on the letter K on your keyboard and look for a folder called KBD class. Then you're gonna expand it and check if you have a folder called parameters. If not, what you're gonna do is, is what you're gonna right click on KBD class, then expand new, and then click on key, and then type parameters and press enter. I'm getting an error because I already have a folder there, so I'll delete this one. Then when you open it, uh, it's gonna be an empty folder you, for you if you didn't have anything there. And then what you wanna do is, is right click, expand new, and then make a 32-bit D word, and then you're gonna name it keyboard data Q size and make sure the capital letters are set correctly and then press enter getting an error because I already have the D word and then you're gonna double click on it and click on decimal your value should be a hundred here unless it's changed already so then you're gonna make it into 20 by typing 20 here and pressing ok I wouldn't go any lower on values because it can cause instability on your keyboard and it can spam random letters and make buttons not register. And now you're gonna close it and then click on the letter M on your keyboard and you're gonna look for a folder called MOU class. And then you wanna expand it and then check if you have a folder called parameters here as well. If not, you're gonna right click again then expand new, make a key, and then make a folder called parameters like on KBD class with a capital P and then you're gonna be in an empty folder and then what you wanna do is, is right click in the background then expand new, make a 32-bit D word and type mouse data Q size like this and make sure that the capital letters are set correctly press enter and then you're gonna double click on the mouse data Q size reg and then you're gonna click on decimal and you're gonna make it 20 as well. Your value should be 100 again unless it's changed already. And then just press OK and I wouldn't recommend going any lower on these values as it can cause instability. And if you notice any instability on either of these values with your keyboard or mouse, then what you're gonna simply do is go to both of these registries again double click on them, click on decimal, and then you can up them by 10 each time until you notice something stable. So if 20 was unstable, I would make it into 30 and then just press OK and restart my PC. But I'll leave it for 20 for now as it's stable. And how you wanna check if it's stable is simple. So you're gonna restart your PC after you applied it, then open your PC. The first thing you wanna do is just uh, flick around with your mouse, check if it's teleporting or like not registering and for your keyboard you're just gonna click on the search, try spamming random letters, see if that works, if it works fine then no problem. Then what you wanna do is open your game and go play two or three games or whatever game you play and try flicking around properly, see if the mouse teleports or hitches and then check if any clicks don't register because then, then you have to up the MOU class value and then for your keyboard if buttons don't like register or it types random letters or moves you around with buttons you haven't pressed then you wanna up the value and just up, up it by 10 at a time and that's it if you made it this far into the video make sure to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments if this worked for you